We're learning new details about a deadly police-involved shooting. It left an armed 12-year-old boy dead. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is at 18th and Barbara Streets where it happened. 12 years old, Matt. Yeah, and it also left a Philadelphia police officer hurt, and security video we obtained showed the moments that followed. You can hear what sounds like the voice of an injured Philadelphia police officer after a gun battle rocked this South Philly neighborhood last night. It was like boom, 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 boom. Investigators say a social media post initially led four undercover officers traveling in an unmarked vehicle into this area for a gun investigation. Officers then saw two boys on bicycles, one of them a 12 year old with a gun. Officers then turned on their vehicle's police lights. That's when officers say someone opened fire on the vehicle. The officer that was positioned in the rear passenger seat, he was struck by shards of glass in his face and in his eyes. Police say the boys then ran away as police exchanged fire. A bullet struck the 12 year old in his back and exited his left chest, killing him. He's been identified as Thomas Sedario. I came to the door and I looked over here and the boy was on my payment. Sedario was a seventh grader at Sharswood Elementary School. Police provided this photo of him when he was reported missing in April 2020, but returned home four days later. Meantime, the shooting also left bullet holes in two parked cars. You could hear the two different sounds, so you know it was two different guns that were going off. Police also recovered from the scene a Taurus 9mm semi automatic handgun that was equipped with a laser. Police are now investigating to figure out exactly who fired at those officers. I don't understand these kids with these guns. Where are they getting them from? And a second person, a 17 year old boy, he was taken into custody and questioned but has since been released. Authorities also tell us that the two police officers who had fired their weapons, they are now on administrative leave, which is protocol. Reporting live in South Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thanks.